Yogi Carly Rose here and welcome to your yoga poses for going to sleep flow. Uh, we're just going to be doing some stretches, some breathing work to help us get ready for going to sleep. So to start we'll come into uh, an easy mountain pose here. So just grounding your feet gently into the earth, lifting up tall, extending through the crown of your head. We'll start with a qigong breath movement called spinal cord breathing. So you want to take your fists uh, kind of to like shoulder height. And we're going to just start by arching our back and exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. So we're getting mini back bend here as we inhale and arms reach open, really stretching our chest. And then exhale, really rounding forward, kind of like we're starting to give ourselves a good night hug. Inhale, exhale. It's gonna help move energy out of our body and start calming our nervous system. Inhale last time here, exhale. And this time, inhale, reach up long, extend through your fingertips. You can even lift onto your toes, get a big, Full body stretch, come back to the earth, and then uh, grab right wrist with left hand and gently lean over towards the left. And you stretch all the way down your right side body. We're going to start moving tension out of our neck and shoulders, out of our spine. Switch sides, and then move it out of our legs, and then we'll be ready for some sleep. Now from here, just reach your fingertips long. You don't want to strain, but reaching them long, starting to get some activation in your arms so that we can get a bit deeper neck stretch. So from here, just gently let your left ear fall towards your left shoulder. So we're not worried about pulling our head or neck down. We have that slight activation from our fingers reaching long help deepen that stretch. Then from here you can start playing around with kind of what feels good to you, where you want to stretch more. So you can start rotating your neck back, looking up towards the ceiling, and start rotating your neck forward, looking down more towards the floor, stretching on top of your shoulders more, getting into the traps. You can start turning your neck, looking towards the ceiling if that feels good. Or just turn it looking over your left fingertips. Sometimes it's so good to even look up and just gently turn your neck towards the left. To start playing with these movements, you can slowly move your head and neck around, finding the stretches that feel good to you finding areas of tension that you want to work out. And then when you're ready, coming back to center, just take a moment and circle or your shoulders forward and back, and back into that same position, extending your fingertips long again. And this time going to the other side. letting your right ear fall towards your right shoulder. You may notice that each side's a little bit different, that you're holding areas of tension in different spots in your neck and your shoulders. So take this time now to start playing with the different movements, bring your head back, forward, change where you want your gaze. Again, it could be different on each side, it could be different from day to day. Just find what's going to feel good to you right now. So we're going to have any tension that you might have had. And then from here, make your way back to center. Shake that out again. Circle your shoulders. Even add elbows if you want to get a little bit more movement. And 
And from here, you're gonna rotate your palms behind you, interlace your fingers behind your back, reach towards the earth as it helps stretch out your shoulders, especially if you've been hunched over all day, it's really gonna open that up. And then from here, big bend in your knees. If you want long spine, I'll turn this way, you can kinda see. Bend your knees, long spine, come into a forward fold. Wave your spine long first, and then just start to extend your legs to that first edge of stretch. Opening your shoulders behind you now. You can do some waving motions here. Getting your Mula Bunda breath going to help start calming your mind. So think about inhaling to your belly. And exhale, squeezing the air in and out, exhaling through the nose. From here, gently release your fingertips to the earth. Bend your knees again so you've got that um, nice movement in the hips to wave your spine long and then extend a little bit wider. But from here, I just want you to start pedaling out your legs, so extending one leg straighter than the other. You can start doing a little bit of a twist. Working out any tension that we have in our legs from being on them all day, from walking, from moving. You can start doing a little bit deeper twists. each side slight bend in your knees again wave your spine long coming into that forward fold this time take your fists into your elbows that'll help trigger some of your larger back muscles to start calming just let any excess energy or stress or tension anything that's clogging up your mind right now, distracting you from sleep. Let that just fall out of your head here. And from here, release your hands. Gently start making your way to the floor. Finding your own way to get here. We'll come onto our backs. From here, we'll do some therapeutic bridge movements. So feet are about hip bone distance apart, um, and a little bit away from your bottom. You want to be able to firmly plant your feet into the earth and lift up into this bridge. What we're going to do with therapeutic movement. So as you lift up, you're gonna inhale, so ground to the earth with your feet, lifting one vertebra and then the other, and reaching your arms above you. And then exhale. Inhale, and everything come back down. Just slow movement here, again triggering our mind to start relaxing and calming. Nice wave-like motion for the spine. Couple more breaths here. Last one, kind of think about you're massaging your spine almost as you're inhaling and exhaling. And now from here we'll do some windshield wiper movement of the legs. Again, this is a very wave-like motion, especially if we're going to do it slow since we're getting ready to be calm and asleep. It's kind of a massage for your asana, you know what I'm saying? Great for your low back as well. One, coming back to center. Now from here, you're gonna take your right ankle over your right knee, so flex right foot, that's gonna help protect the right knee. 
um, while it's in the air. You can stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you. Just think about opening and extending your right leg to create space. If you want a bit more of a stretch, you can hook your hands behind your hamstring, behind your shin, whatever is more comfortable, and think about just gently using gravity to pull your knee towards your left shoulder. So keeping your hips in alignment. Again, stretching energy out of our legs, especially out of our hips. We tend to keep a lot of tension there. So good to open up that area before we try and go to sleep. You want to take it a, even a step farther. If you want more of a stretch in the backs of your leg, you can extend your left heel to the sky and start pulling that leg towards you to also get a hamstring stretch. You can even hook onto the toes if that feels good to you. sides. So left foot is flexed, ankle is resting on top of the right leg just above the knee. Again, you can think about just opening your leg here and creating space. Or if you want a deeper stretch, if you're not to your hamstring or shin and gently, you're not yanking your leg by any means, just gently resting your right shoulder or right knee towards your right shoulder. could be different on each side, so just go to your capacity on each leg. You don't want to force one side to go to the same stretch as the other. We're just gently resting here. And if you want to take that one step farther, you can even extend right heel towards the sky. You can either you can grab your calf, you can hook onto your toes. You can even grab behind your um, leg on the hamstring. Whatever stretch feels good for you today. And of course, this can vary from day to day, depending on how warm you are when you hit the mat, what else you, other activities you've done for the day. So really just pay attention to what your body's feeling. Really the goal of this practice is just to calm our mind, calm our body, and work out any tension that we might have felt from our day. Release that. Take your uh, feet out wide, maybe wider than your mat, and just knock your knees towards each other. Let them fall in. This is a great sacral reset. And a couple of calming breaths here. Again, inhaling to your low belly, your pelvic floor, and exhale. Inhale, squeezing all the air in and up out your nose. Using our breath to trigger our mind that it's time to calm down and forget about anything that may have stressed us during the day. And then from here, you can even windshield wiper this pose. I like to do that sometimes. Um, you basically drop one knee towards the center and one knee opens up. And this is a nice way to gently stretch the front of your legs, get into your quads. And again, it has kind of that calming wave-like motion, as well as kind of that asana massage again. So you can roll back and forth in this position for a few breaths. I might even feel the stretch up into your core and your psoas. Last time, each side here. And knees or feet walk back to center. Now from here, 
Um, a couple, couple different variations that you can do for spinal twist. Uh, you can hook your leg, kind of wrap them, come to like a half eagle. You can keep them just next to each other. Uh, I'm kind of in the mood to wrap mine right now. But from here, I want you to shift your hips just a little bit to the right and then drop your knees to the left. The reason we do that is so that our uh, shoulder and hips are still in line as we do this spinal twist. When you're doing this, you can have your arms reached out long, you can have them up, you can have them reaching down, you can do cactus arms, that can feel really good sometimes. So whatever comfortable arm position, we're not really worried about doing you know, what's right. We wanna find a comfortable yoga pose, so finding what feels good for us uh, you can also extend your bottom leg if that feels better and just let your top leg fall over to the left. And you can look over the right shoulder if you want to complete the twist in your neck. And when we're doing this, we're not worried so much about knee getting to the earth again it's just that gentle letting gravity do its thing we're just finding that comfortable position where we're feeling that first edge of stretch and letting the the weight of our body and the weight of the ground kind of take care of the rest at the moment and coming back to center taking that on the other side, whatever position you think feels good, just remember to scoot your hips to the left a little bit, so that when you come down to the earth, you have a healthy spinal alignment. Finding that comfortable arm position. We do want to try to keep our shoulders on the ground while we're doing this twist. That's going to help with the spinal twist instead of tweaking our shoulders and crushing our necks. We really want to keep that openness here. And that will also help us maintain that healthy spinal alignment for the rest of the twist. breath here coming back to center now from here I want you to just lift your knees gently into your chest and then start extending your legs to the sky we don't want to think about pressing our feet up we're not going for a stretch we're going for a nice relaxed kind of inversion you can do this against a wall if you want to hit pause and kind of shimmy on over um, otherwise you can just think about extending your feet towards the ceiling and kind of think about the air holding your legs up. So this isn't a strengthening thing. We're not pressing our heels and doing a big stretch. We're just thinking about our, our feet kind of being held up by the air around us, getting some detox by having our feet above our heart just for a few breaths. That will also help calm the mind. See if you can do this with as little energy output as possible. You know, it seems kind of weird and counterintuitive to hold our legs in the air with no energy, but that's kind of what we want to think about doing is making this an effortless. They're just kind of floating above us. And from here, gently release your feet back down. Hug your knees into your chest. You can circle your knees one way and then the other. As you're doing this, think about pressing um, into your knees, kind of down through your femurs and creating that space in your low back. And now reach your legs out long. Full body stretch here. You can even reach one side longer and the other. Um, and then if you want, you can even take a little massage uh, out your forearms, do some magic wrist clears. So think about um, kind of pulling your wrist away from your forearm. It helps create some traction, gets rid of any tension maybe from typing or being on a computer. 
You can get a little massage here in your neck if that feels good. Not quite the same as a professional massage, but we can do a little bit to take care of ourselves. And from here, I want you to gently rest um, in a reclined butterfly or reclined goddess pose. So just have the base of your feet together. They don't have to be pressing necessarily. They can just kind of open gently, let gravity again do its thing here. Um, if you want a bit more support, feel free to put blankets or pillows uh, beneath your knees. Probably just settle into this. And this way we're starting to open up our hips and our inner thighs. Kind of the last area of stretch before crawling into bed and getting a great night's sleep, hopefully. that you enjoyed that flow. I hope you feel calmed and relaxed, ready to kind of wrap up your day. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing night's sleep. I definitely want to practice with you on the mat again soon. So of course, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel uh, so you get notifications when the new videos go up. And I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Eddies email list. So make sure that you are signed up there as well. And I can't wait to see you next time. Namaste.